Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of uh, emergency medicine is CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Different topics which we will discuss in our today's lecture. So we should cover in detail our cardiopulmonary resuscitation is the objective of CPR first. What are the object objectives of CPR and why we need to perform CPR? Then after objective of CPR, we will go over the difference between two types of CPR. One is BLS, which is basic life support, and then ACLS, which is advanced cardiac, uh, cardiovascular life support or advanced support. So basic life support is the type of CPR, uh, which is usually not only medical personnel, but other people who have no uh, association with medicine or other laymen who are working in some other fields, they can even learn this BLS and they can perform the basic CPR. But as the ACLS is the more advanced form of life support and only the trained personnel or the medical personnel who have any relationship with this field, they can perform ACLS. And it's like a building up on the basic life support. So more advanced ACLS. So BLS and ACLS, what are the steps of these and how, why we need them, we will go over these two topics in this section. Then we will discuss the very common condition which needs uh, uh, CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation is the cardiac arrest or when the heart is uh, stopped to perform the function or stopped to pump the blood, that's the cardiac arrest. Then we will talk about the pathophysiology of uh, cardiac arrest. What are the uh, different conditions that can lead to uh, cardiac arrest or what's the pathophysiology of cardiac arrest, how it develops, how we can, uh, if, if, no, we know that this is the cardiac arrest or patient is in the cardiac arrest and how we should manage that. Then we will talk about the prevalence of cardiac arrest. How common is the cardiac arrest in different age groups? And what are the different conditions how, uh, which leads to the cardiac arrest and how prevalent those conditions are? So we will discuss all those conditions and different age groups in which that uh, occurs. Then the post-resuscitation care, very, very important topic because after the resuscitation, if the post management is not good, then the patient might have a, a recurrence or might do, don't even go lead to the um, uh, survival. So post-resuscitation care and management is very important. Then what are some uh, consequences of uh, cardiac arrest? We will go over that. What's the post-cardiac uh, arrest syndrome? What are some complications that can occur after the cardiac arrest? And then the ethical consideration, we will discuss the ethical consideration, some conditions in which we do not perform CPR and what are those ethical considerations. So that we will discuss also in our today's lecture. So after that, we'll conclude our topic of uh, CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And we, you need to watch this uh, video for the 
detailed information about the cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. And besides that, we have few other um, uh, videos so far for the emergency medicine, which are the airway uh, emergency management. Then we have introduction of emergency ma uh, medicine. You can watch these videos also to get the idea of the emergency medicine. And thank you for watching scardia.com.